Hi everybody, welcome back to Boxes Upon Boxes Reviews. Today I have a special edition, The Battle of the Wearable Bluetooth Speakers. This is the Classic Tech KTGO 01, and it's in glorious orange. I don't know if you can tell, but this speaker is wet. And it is wet because the manufacturer claims IPX7 waterproof certification. And what that means is you can submerge the speaker at a depth of three feet for 30 minutes. And so that's what I did. I gave it the sink test. And it is not waterproof. It lasted for about 10 minutes before it failed completely. I would call this water resistant. It definitely has that silicone cover. If you just throw it in a body of water, it will float. But that's not the same as being submerged. The KTGO 01 is a compact speaker. It is about the same size as a hockey puck. A little bit larger, but not much. I classify this as a wearable because on the back it has this strap. To open the strap, you simply pull on the tab and it comes out of the hole. Now, it doesn't look like this would hold very well, but it does. Once you put that tooth in the strap, any tension on the strap actually tightens the grip of the strap. The only accessory that comes with this speaker is the charging cable. It has a 500 milliamp hour battery. You can do a full charge in about two hours and expect about six hours of speaker playback. That seems on the low end to me, but acceptable. If you look closely, you will see that the speaker is located on the lower half of the device. They say that it is a two inch speaker. If you just measure the black part, to me it looks like an inch and a quarter, but I'll take their word for it. They also say that it has a 360 degree sound and they say that because you have a grill on the front and a grill behind the strap in the back. It, provided you don't have anything pressed up against this grill, I guess that that is, it, that's true. You can hear sound coming from both sides. So sure, 360 degrees. The KTGO 01 is a compact speaker, and you will have to set your expectations accordingly. There's not a lot of room for fancy enclosure design here. You won't get a lot of bass. There are five watts of power, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's probably plenty if you're just wearing this on your backpack strap or something like that. Um, it, depending upon the kind of music that you listen to, it is distortion free, even at full volume, but if it has a lot of bass, then it's going to run into problems. How do I rate the KTGO 01? Well, I don't like that they lied to me about being waterproof, but it is water resistant and it does float, so I'll kind of give them a pass. I do like the design of the strap. I think that was clever and it works really well. I think it sounds okay. I have heard better in a speaker of this size. So I am going to give this a three out of five stars. It's, uh, it's, it's a decent speaker. This is the Mi Audio Go speaker. It's definitely a wearable and it has this nice clip on the back. It will clip on your pocket or your shirt collar or whatever, but that's not all. It also has this magnetic clip. You put this on the inside of your shirt or whatever your, maybe a tent or a backpack, and it just snaps in place. That's pretty cool. I like the look of this speaker. This is a cloth grill. The buttons are large and distinctive. They just pop visually. On either side, they have these speaker grills, and you can definitely hear the sound coming from both sides and the front of the speaker. This has a 600 milliamp hour battery, which they claim will give you about seven hours of playback. To me, that seems a little light, but this is a small speaker, so you almost have to give them a pass on that. It does support TWS if you want to buy two of these and have stereo sound. Um, I, in a wearable speaker, I don't know that that's a feature that I value, but it is there. 
This weighs about 2.3 ounces, which is barely noticeable. Me Audio claims this is a 5 watt, 2 inch speaker. Not sure how that works unless it's oblong. This is a wearable speaker and you have to set your expectations accordingly. You are not going to get any bass out of this. However, it is a bright and clear sound. I did like it, except that it tended to cut out periodically. I tried changing my audio provider and I experienced the same problem with both. I tried different speakers, did not have the problem with other speakers. So I think it is this one. I don't know if it was, if I was driving it too hard. I tried turning the volume down and it would still cut out. So I'm going to say this is a miss, which is too bad because I've tested another speaker from Mi Audio and I thought it was fantastic. Um, I, I can't, I'm going to give this a one out of five stars. This is the Duvos U3. It is definitely a compact speaker at 9.1 ounces. It's fairly light and look how thin this is. I am classifying this also as a wearable simply because it has this carabiner clip. In addition to the carabiner clip, the U3 comes bundled with this charging cable and a carrying bag. The U3 contains a 360 milliamp hour battery, takes about two hours to charge and provides four hours of playback. This seems low to me. Yes, it is a thin and light device, but mm, the 40 millimeter speaker pumps out three watts of power, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it is fairly loud. I would say it's distortion free up to about 60% and some music sounds better than others. For some reason, Chemical Brothers sounded really bad. I don't know why. You're not going to get any bass out of this, so I'm not even gonna comment. A speaker of this size, you just don't expect it. You don't see too many wearables with a TF card slot. I appreciate the ability to have off-grid music. Streaming services are not always available, and this supports 32 gigs of local music. The U3 does not claim to be water resistant in any way, so keep that in mind for your outdoor adventures. How do I rate the Duvos 03? Well, it sounds pretty good. You're not going to get any bass out of this, but I don't think you expect to in a device of this size. I like that it has this magnetic back. The carabiner is a nice feature. The TF card slot is rare. I'm concerned that it doesn't have any water resistance. When, it, when you have a wearable speaker, uh, oh, granted, I'm the one calling it wearable, they didn't. Um, but I would look for something with a little water resistance anyway. Um, the battery life is really concerning at four hours of playback, that's super short. Um, I'm going to give this a three out of five stars simply because it has that TF card slot that you don't see in the in a wearable. Um, so yeah, pretty good. This is the Shell Home SP001 wearable Bluetooth speaker. It features this clip that can attach to your clothing or a backpack or whatever you like. It also has a magnetic attaching system that you take the back and put it inside your shirt or whatever, and it snaps in place. This speaker is tiny. At two ounces, it is barely noticeable. The SP001 comes with this really nice weather resistant carrying case. It even has a carabiner and everybody loves these. You open this up and you see a pocket that holds your charging cable and a spare magnetic clip in addition to the SP001. You are not going to believe this. 30 hours of continuous playback? What? I think they accomplished this through some combination of wizardry and limiting the power to three watts. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, but believe me, when this is sitting here next to your ear, three watts is plenty. You're not going to get a lot of bass out of a speaker of this size. However, 
At 80% volume, I found Billy Idol's Rebel Yell to have a surprising depth of sound. This is IP56 water resistant, which I think is exactly what you want in a device of this nature. Yes, it supports a speakerphone functionality and TWS true wireless stereo. However, in a wearable, I don't consider either of these features to be important, but maybe you do. How do I rate the Shell Home SP001? For a wearable speaker, I consider this nearly a perfect device. It sounds pretty good and it's water resistant and the battery lasts forever. The only feature that I think is missing is a TF card slot. Maybe that's just me. I like having off-grid music. Um, but still, be that as it may, and plus this beautiful case, I, I am sorely tempted to give this a five star rating i yeah five stars for in the wearable category i don't think you could do any better we have a clear winner in the wearable bluetooth speaker battle royale shell home sp001 you are the best thanks for stopping by